Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kai Guy Slider, and I'm sliding into your subscription boxes today with episode number 18 of our Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, what we did is we surfed east of Marvel City, got a couple of new encounters along the way, took out Team Aqua, who was making a ruckus at the Weather Institute, got another new Pokemon from them, which was supposed to be a cast form, but turned out to be even worse, honestly, in my opinion. Turned out to be an Aria, though. Spoilers for the last episode. If you guys did miss the last episode, do check it out. You can also check out uh, the playlist on my channel as well to see the entire series. In today's episode, what looks like what we're going to do is we're going to make our, the rest of the way to Fortree City. We're going to get uh, some other encounters. We're going to meet up with Steven, get this, the Silph Scope, I believe, or the Devon Scope, I think is what it's called, actually. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're also going to possibly take on the gym as well, and we get a couple of stat Kecleon encounters too, so that we, we get um, uh, some new encounters too. And I'm very excited to get them. So without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and give you a quick little team recap. I did put Dump Truck back in the party after we received the Aridios. First up, we have Antonio the Gardevoir with the Trace Ability and an Adept Nature. The worst nature for a Gardevoir. Holding the Scope Lens up is Critical Hit Ratio with Calm Mind, Confusion, Psychic, and Faint Attack. Next up is Falcon, the king of crits himself, the Pidgeotto with the Kenai ability and a bold nature, holding the sharp beaks up the power of his flying type moves, with tackle, super fang, wing attack, and quick attack. Next up is Wrigley the pup himself, the grand bull, with the intimidate ability and a hasty nature, holding the choice pen up the power of his physical moves, with tackle, bite, hyper fang, and rock tomb. Then we have Franklin the Blastoise with the Torrent ability and a lax nature, holding the leftovers to give him a little bit of HP at the end of every turn, with protect, bite, surf, and morning sun. Next up is Tectonic the Groudon with the Drought ability and a Lonely Nature, holding the Soft Sand up the power of his ground type moves with Mudshot, Bulk Up, H of Power, and Slash. And last but not least, bringing up the rear, as always, we have Dump Truck the Laron with the Rocket ability and a Sassy Nature, holding the Black Belt up the power of his Fighting type moves with Iron Tail, Metal Claw, Rock Smash, and Take Down. I'm gonna grab my phone real quick because I haven't been keeping track of when I started recording. Alright, there we go. So that's good now. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. Sorry. <laughs> that was very unprofessional, I know. So in today's episode, like I said, we're gonna head the rest of the way towards Fort Treat City now that we have safely rescued the people, the meteorologists here at the Weather Institute. And we can uh, possibly take on the gym today? Probably not, honestly. Oh, I know what's right here. I know what's right here. I'm ready for it. Bring it on, girl. Where are you at? There she is. There she is. Like, Kai, where were you? I was, like, looking for you. Like, how much stronger have you gotten? Like, let me check it out. Ready with your Pokemon? Like, of course you are. Like, go! Basic white girl May, as always. I knew this rival battle was here, so it was literally the second I saw it. As a kid, this gave me PTSD because after fighting the Weather Institute, I was just really worried about it. I don't know. I, I, can, I always had trouble with this as a kid. With this rival battle, I should say. So she's got a Ghastly. That's easy pickings. We can just click Psychic. Na 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 na, na 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 na, and a crit too. That scope lens coming in clutch. Let's go, Antonio. Antonio, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Getting some decent XP as well. Crabby. Um, let's let let's let Antonio stay in. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. <laughs> Is that like a Lizzie McGuire movie theme song? God, I'm so lame. Why do you guys watch me? I I will never understand it. I will never understand. Hopefully you think I'm funny. She has a Metapod! Alright. I, I think I knew that already. Alright, Rick Falcon, get out of here. Get out of here, Falcon. Take out this Metapod, bro. So, uh, before we, uh, before I forget, I want to preface the fact that I did not upload yesterday with, um, a little, a little bit of a story and a little bit of a rant and a little bit of an explanation. So, yay. Uh, so yesterday was actually my little brother's high school graduation. Congratulations, Carson, once again. Shout out to you, buddy. Very proud of you. Uh, my brother graduated from high school. Ooh, Falcon the King of Crits coming in clutch again. The King of Crits himself. Let's go. My little brother graduated from high school yesterday. And um, I didn't really have time to record as a result of that because we were running around all morning and afternoon. Oh, hold on. But, like, I had nothing to worry about. Keep it up. And, like, here, I even have a present for you. Finally, Falcon gets a better flying type move, dude. Let's go. Use Fly, and like your Pokemon will instantly carry you to any town you've like already visited. But to use Fly, you have to like get the gym badge from like Fortree City. That's important, so like don't forget. You should fly home and visit like Little Root for a change. I bet like your mom's worried about you, Kai. Like, well, let's meet again somewhere. Let's meet again somewhere, indeed. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give Falcon Fly now before I forget, because honestly, that sounds very nice. Because <laughs> I forgot I turned the HM compatibility on. <laughs> so we just have... I didn't mean to get rid of Wing Attack. 
I meant to get rid of Tackle. That's what I meant to get rid of. I actually kind of want Wing Attack back. So that sucks. Anyway, yeah, I had a very, very long and hectic morning due to... I'm going to skip that trainer for now and that one. Um, I had a very, very long and hectic morning because I woke up to a text from my mom giving me a list of stuff that I had to do today. My brother was at uh, his buddy Hunter's house. So I had to go... It was Hunter or Devin, one of the two. It doesn't really matter in the case of the story. So I went down to pick him up. Uh, it wasn't that far of a drive. Maybe like a solid like 15, 20 minutes almost. And I actually hate driving, so it was kind of annoying to have to do it. But hey, you know what? You gotta help out mom. You gotta help uh, her out when you can. So that's why I did it. But yeah, I, I honestly just don't like driving. I don't know. I'm weird. Uh, we're gonna buy... Uh, do you have super repels? Yeah, you do. Alright, I want these. Give me... Give me like 10. Give me 10. Give me 10, give me 10, give me 10. Uh, we'll buy... We don't need any super potions, but I do want ultra balls. Yeah, give me 10 of those. Absolutely give me 10 of those. Give me my... Did I not get a premier ball with that too? That's lame. That's lame, man. That's super lame. Anyway, so yeah, I woke up to the long list and I went to pick up my brother. Like I said, I hate driving. So I went over to uh, where I was supposed to pick him up. He got in the car and I was like, you know what? You drive because I really don't feel like it, honestly. And he was like, all right, that's fine. I don't mind. And um, so my list of things that I had to do was I had to pick him up. I had to uh, go and take him to get a haircut. As you can still see, I got my haircut as well. I no longer have a mop sitting on my head. It's actually nice and short now, which makes it a lot better in this Florida summer heat, which is very, very nice. Also, I just genuinely like my hair like this length. So I, I got a couple of compliments on it as well, which is very nice. Always appreciated. Oh, uh, and while we were there, uh, this, I was wearing my, uh, my Half-Lives band t-shirt, if you guys have seen me wear it in a video before. It's the one with the key with the roses on it. Uh, the couple of the stylists and one of the ladies getting their hair cut, they were like, Oh my god, I love that shirt. Is that like a band and everything? I was like, yeah, it's this pop rock band I listen to called Half-Lives. They're a little bit like Paramore and stuff like that. And a bunch of them were like, oh my gosh, if that's their logo, I just want to listen to them just for that. And I was like, oh yeah, I mean, they're awesome. You guys should check them out. And we just got into like a 20-something minute conversation about my uh, Half-Lives t-shirt. I thought it was hilarious. So we went and got our haircuts. That was fine. No big deal there. No big deal whatsoever. I ended up liking mine a lot. My brother ended up liking his a lot. But it was funny because lo and behold, the lady who was cutting my hair, um, her boyfriend's little brother was also one of the students graduating that night with my brother. They don't know each other or anything, but I just found that hilarious, honestly. Um, so we got our haircuts done. We got that taken care of. And can you not look drink again? Thank you for not doing that. Please, please don't be a Whitney. That's all I ask of you. Oh, okay, anyway, so we got our haircuts and everything, and the next thing on my mom's list was to go pick up some umbrellas from the dollar store, because you can get them nice and cheap there, everything's a dollar, obviously, uh, because it was a high forecast for a chance of rain. It was supposed to be like a 70% chance of rain, we defeated Sailor Noel, so that's nice. Oh, I also just burped, that's good. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. Much better. Alright, this is a new route, we can get a new encounter. Alright, what's it gonna be? My eyes are being shut! Let's see what we got. What the heck is that? Are you kidding me, dude? Come on! Come on! You don't even have speed boost. You have compound eyes. Hold us, faint attack. If you live it, we'll catch. I'll think about catching you. Antonio, the scope lens came in clutch right there. The scope. I didn't really want it. I don't. I don't care. I honestly, guys. You might be upset that I'm not catching everything, but I. It's a Yanma. It doesn't even evolve in this generation. Do I really want it? No. Obviously, I don't. Obviously, I don't. Plus, the special attacks that I'm pretty sure is higher, and both of its stab, mo stab moves are physical in this generation. We're gonna put Dump Truck out front because he hasn't gotten any love recently. Uh, where's Steve now? Oh, you two again? No. No, 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 not you two again. Oh, but yeah. So, we went to go look at the dollar store for umbrellas because, like I said, you can get them real cheap there. Everything's a dollar, of course. And I'm not even kidding you when I say this. This dollar store has maybe like 14 aisles total. Like, com that's it. Like, there's no more there. We probably spent at least 30 minutes going up and down each of those aisles like five to six times each trying to find umbrellas and we could not find anything like at all. We just destroyed that bell sprout's face. You don't have even a bird. You're a bird keeper, but you have a bell sprout. Logic, bro. Logic. Logic, logic, logic. Logic is a great rapper, actually. Uh, oh, Steven. Uh, I'll put a pause on my story once again. Hmm? Kai. Hi, it's been a while. No, it hasn't. You just saw me like four routes ago. That's not that long. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle... No, no, no. Rather than describing it, I would ra rather just show it to you. That would be more fun. Kai, are your Pokémon ready for battle? Yes, they are. Show me your true power as a Pokémon trainer. Steven used the Devon Scope. An invisible Pokémon became completely visible. Started Pokémon attack. 
So normally it's a Kecleon, but what is it going to be this time? This is an encounter. My eyes are being closed. What is it going to be? I know that cry. I know that cry. Hold on. Hold on. I know that cry. I know the cry. Ooh! 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 I want you. I want you. Join me. I want you. Ooh! 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 I want this. Gimme. Give gimme. Give gimme. Give gimme. Gimme. Go, Franklin. Franklin, don't don't crit, please. I want this thing. I love Sandshrew and Sand Slash. This is a throwback to when in like Pelleberg Woods when we tried to catch a uh, a Sand Slash and it wouldn't stay in the ball. This is redemption right here. Let's go. Come on, Franklin. Come on, buddy. I want this thing. Bite him. It shouldn't do a whole lot. Okay, that's fine. That's decent damage. All right, Sandshrew. Don't be like your older brother or older sister Sand Slash. Stay in this great ball. Stay in this great ball and join us. I already have your name picked out, so I name every single Sand True and Sand Slash that I ever come across. Get in this great ball, buddy. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. One, two, three. Let's go! We got a Sand True! Oh, I'm so happy. I love Sand True and Sand Slash. Such an underrated Pokemon. Like, I know their move pool is pretty much garbage, but they're just so cool design. Sentry is a very dry hide that is extremely tough. The Pokemon can roll into a ball that repels any attack. At night, it burrows into the desert sand to sleep. Aww, you're so adorable. I love you so much. It's such an underrated Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and name this thing. If you guys have ever seen uh, anything I've ever named a Sandshrew or a Sandshrew before, I name the same thing every single time. We name it Soccer Ball. Because in the anime, uh, the Sandshrew from the, the training episode. I don't remember the, the trainer's name, but it was when Ash had like victory like number 10 in a row, and the trainer was trying to get like victory number 100 in a row, and uh, Sandshrew beat um, Ash's Pikachu and everything, and when it would like jump into water and pop out of water and everything, and use its like little training weights and stuff, it would curl up into a ball and look like a soccer ball because it has like this square pattern on it. So I was just like, oh my god, it's like a little soccer ball Sandshrew. So from there, I just like always named my Sandshrew soccer ball. I don't know, I just, I, it works honestly. I see. Your battle style is very intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Doofin. I'd like you to have this Devon Scope. Who knows, there may be other concealed Pokemon. We got the Devon Scope. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Kai, I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. And he flies away on the Skarmory. Goodbye. Alright, so down right there, there's another stack encounter we can get, which is a Kecleon. And I, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. You know what? I want to get some extra encounters. And I want this... This one right here. Something unseeable is in the way. Want to use a Devon Scope? You're darn right I want to use a Devon Scope. An invisible Pokemon became completely visible. The start of Pokemon attacked. That's fine. Attack me all you want. I'm going to attack you right back. In fact, we're going to catch you. What's the what's this encounter going to be? That's a Ninetales, right? Oh, no. A Rapidash. Yo. We lost a Fire type. We might be gaining one. Let's go. I'll take that. All right, Dump Truck. Go ahead and take down. Oh, that's bad. That could be bad because we can't switch out now. How much is that doing? Okay, good damage, good damage, good damage. Alright, I'm I'm gonna risk the rock smash here. Stomp, we're fine. That's doing like two. It did two. Psychic back. I'm psych the psychic abilities are back, guys. <laughs> this should do almost nothing. Alright, cool. It did almost nothing. Uh, I'm gonna throw an ultra ball at this because I'd rather not take the chances, honestly. I'd rather not uh, keep Dump Truck in here for too long because he is half steel, which is weak to fire. So we are only neutral to it now because rock resists it. Ultra will please. Oh, come on, man. Really? Why you gotta do me like that? Come on. Alright, we're taking a steady damage. I'm gonna go ahead and super potion up just on the off chance that he crits me. I'm not taking any chances with Dump Truck. I like him a lot. I don't want to see him die. We've already lost Chipper. I'd rather not lose Dump Truck, too. I'd rather not, although we could replace it with Rapidash, but we're not going to. We're not going to whatsoever. I'm gonna throw another Ultra Ball at this thing. Anyway, back to my story. So. Uh, we were literally at the dollar store for at least half an hour trying to find freaking umbrellas. We literally asked like two different workers where we could find them. We also just caught Rapidash, so that's awesome. We literally tried two different workers and we're like, oh yeah, it's down like aisle five or six. I'm not too sure. It's one of those two though. I was like, oh okay, that's fine. Hold on. Rapidash usually can be found, can be seen casually cantering in the fields of plains. However, when this Pokemon turns serious, its fiery mane flares up, flares and blaze as it gallops its way up to 150 miles an hour. That's pretty dope. Alright, so there's only one, even, I think Epona is a girl, honestly, I honestly don't remember, I'm pretty sure it's a girl, but you know what, we're gonna name it Epona anyway, because I'm a Zelda geek, and it's a horse, I have to, I honestly have to. Alright, what's the item gonna be? A Macho Brace, uh, I kinda want that, honestly, I kinda want that. Um, I still need to sell our, uh, I'm gonna see if we can raise somebody's speed, let's raise Falcons, okay, there we go. I still need to sell that Max Revive. So, we gotta do that before I forget to do that. Because I will forget to do that, honestly. 
So let's go back up. Hmm, what do we miss out on instead of a Yanma? Oh, just another Yanma. Great. Something else I don't want. Another Yanma. Alright, um, oh, really? Really? Really, dude? You know what? Oh my god. Go ahead, detect. Ugh, I don't want to fight you! Just kill, just kill this thing. Please just kill this thing. One shot it right now. One shot it right now, dump truck. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. So yeah, back to my store. We literally spent half an hour looking for umbrellas in a dollar store, looking up and down every single aisle, like, multiple times. I guarantee you I looked down the freaking aisles that they said for us to look down at least, like, seven times. I'm not even exaggerating. Probably, like, somewhere between, like, seven to ten times. And I could not find any umbrellas, and we just got so frustrated at the point where we were like, alright, you know what, fine, screw it. We'll just go to Walmart. We'll just go to Walmart and get one. It'll be a little bit more expensive there, but it's right next door, and it'll just be easier that way. So we go to Walmart, and we start walking around trying to find them again. And of course, uh, once again, because we're, for some reason, we just have, like, the worst luck or just idiots. My brother and I, once again, could not find any trace of umbrellas anywhere. So we started to, like, keep walking around and everything. And we asked a person who clearly hated their job because they literally looked at us with, like, the most angry and annoyed look on their face when we asked them a question. They were like, oh, uh, yeah, they're in the apparel section over there. And we were like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. And then after we left, we were just like, man, we're sorry for asking you when you work here, but okay. So we looked in the apparel section and still no luck. And eventually I was just, I was livid at this point because I had my mom texting me a bunch of different stuff. I had my brother singing along and rapping lyrics when I was trying to find umbrellas. I had workers at Walmart who just did not want to help us out. Oh, it's an A-Pom. I love you so much. Oh, you're so cute. Look at your little tail. Ah, oh, you're bouncing on one hand. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Anyway, so all of that going on all at once. And honestly, I just, I was, I was livid. I was honestly livid. I could not take any more. I, I, I was ready to blow a gasket. I find my little brother goes to a lady who works in the apparel section and was like, Hey, do you guys have umbrellas? And she was like, yes. They're over on that back wall over there by, excuse me, where the shoes are. I was like, okay, great. Lo and behold, they're finally there. It was like three bucks. I bought it. I didn't care. It was a two dollars more than a dollar. Whatever. Basic math, honestly. I, I didn't care that much. So we get done with that and we, my mom tells me, Okay, I'll put a little bit of cash in your account. Go pick up lunch for your brother and your sister. I was like, alright, that's fine. I'll do that. So I was like, okay, how about Subway? And I was like, yeah, I'm good with that. So I text my sister, what do you want from Subway? No response. <laughs> None whatsoever. We finally, we get there, and I'm like, hey, what do you want? And still no response. So finally I FaceTime her, and she finally answers her phone, and she's like, oh, okay, I'll just text it to you. So that annoyed the heck out of me too. Then meanwhile, I've got my mom texting me, like, oh, hey, are you guys going to bring me coffee? Do you want coffee? Blah, blah, blah. Like, suddenly hinting that she wanted us to bring her coffee. But I was like, Mom, I've had a really stressful morning. I can't even think about bringing you coffee. Please talk to Carson about that. And I feel bad because I kind of snapped on her a little bit because I just, I, I hate when people like constantly text me like multiple times that could just be said in one text. Like it's one of my biggest pet peeves. So when she kept doing it, I was like, Mom, I, I, need, I need you to stop, please. Talk to Carson. I, I can't deal with this right now. Please hit the siren tail. Aww. So yeah, that was my, that was my, uh, oh, this could be bad. That was my, um, my Tuesday morning adventure. Uh, going out with my little brother. Also, who has a graduation on a Tuesday? That makes, like, no sense whatsoever. I have I have no idea why they had their graduation on a Tuesday. Like, my graduation, I'm pretty sure, was on a weekend. And I know my sisters were on, like, a Saturday. But my little brothers, for some reason, they were like, Oh, yeah, Tuesday. That's the prime day, right? Because everyone's going up on Tuesday, you know? Yeah, let's, let's do it on Tuesday. It makes perfect sense, man. Let's not do it on a weekend where people don't have school or work the next morning, you know? Let's not do it like something like that. Let's do it on a Tuesday where people will, no doubt, have to actually work in the morning. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, right guys? Total sense. Yeah, I know. I know it does. What time is it? How long have I been recording? Uh, probably long enough. Alright, you know, we're gonna go ahead and... Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I need to do some basic math real quick because I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're gonna keep recording because I haven't been recording as long as I think I have been. I know I have not. I know I have not. I know I have not. I was going to say we'll wrap up this episode right here, but we're not going to. Not quite yet. Oh, so then we got to my little girl's graduation. And it was actually pretty cool, the way they set it up and everything. They had them all walk down this little aisle and everything. They had, like, some, like, held arms that they were walking with their friends or everything. But, um, it seemed like everyone in the universe had to speak for some reason. And, like, I understand that everyone involved should be involved in some capacity. But like every teacher, every single um, 
like guidance counselor, office worker, uh, people on like the, the school board and everything, all had to give like this this long speech about how they're blossoming into full fledged adults. And it's just it's just so cliche at this point because everyone said the exact same things when they do a um, like graduation kind of speech. So honestly, I was just like, all right, can we just get on with this? I want to go home. I want to go home. I, I want to be out of here. I just want to see my brother walk. I want to see my brother's friends walk, who I know and who I like walk. And then I just want to go home and go to bed. So that finished after a little while. Like it dragged on and on. Obviously, my last name is an, begins with R, so it, we had to wait a little while for my brother to actually walk. It took like almost nine years. It felt like honestly. So I, I, luckily, I had my phone to keep myself entertained. I had my sister there to keep me entertained as well. Plus, in between, I got to see like my brother's friends, like I said, walk as well. So that was very nice, honestly. It's just like it, it felt unnecessarily long, if that makes sense. Like I felt like they could have condensed things down a lot more, if you know what I mean. Like I don't know, maybe maybe I'm nitpicking, which obviously I probably am, but I don't know. That's just my take on it. Oh hey, I lost one of you. That's great. Chipper's ghost has come back to haunt me. That's awesome, man. That's great. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's go out into tectonic. Let's go out into tectonic. This actually could be a mistake because uh, your fire moves are about to be boosted. Maybe that wasn't my best play. Oh well. So anyway, graduation finished. We take a couple of pictures with him and everything. We should do like 25. I did 20. Close enough. Uh, so we take a couple of pictures with him and everything, and then we're like, okay, well, let's go get food. And they were like, okay, cool. Uh, so we ended up going out to eat with my brother. It was me, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, and my brother's best friend, Jake's family. So we left the graduation probably like, I, I don't even know the time, probably like 9 something, almost 10. And, um, uh, we'll go out to Wrigley. And uh, we, got to we went to Chili's because they were open late. And we were like, oh, okay, cool, we'll, we'll wait for you guys to get here to order. They did not get there. We got there maybe at like 10, 15. They did not get there, I'm not even joking this, until like 11. So we just sat there for 45 minutes. We were starving. Luckily, they gave us free chips and salsa. So I don't know, I guess they were running some special or something like that. We were starving, like legitimately starving. I, I was about to eat my little sister. I was that hungry. No, I would never do that, Kira, I'm sorry. I'm not a cannibal, guys, I promise. I promise I'm not a cannibal. I would never do that. Don't be a cannibal, don't. Life lessons with Kyler, don't do it. Don't be a cannibal, you're welcome. Anyway, so they kept bringing us food. Finally they got there, and um, it was just like really, like everyone else decided to come there, so it was just also like really full of people and everything, which is really annoying. Like I, I like, I don't mind being in crowds, but when I'm trying to talk to people and everybody around me is being loud, it's just very annoying, you know? I feel like I'm not the only one who feels that way. I don't know, maybe I am, maybe I'm still a weirdo. Uh, I forgot how to do this puzzle, honestly. Um, isn't it just this? I did it wrong. I had it right, but I did it wrong. You're supposed to do this. And then this, and this, and this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that, and then Spongebob reference. Yay! Do we have time to take her on? I, I think we do, you know what? I think we do. Let's, let's go ahead and take her on with... Alright. Th this might be a little bit of a longer episode, but if it is, oh well. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I become one with bird Pokemon and a sword of the skies. However, grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Bring it on, girl. Let's go. What do you got for me? Please don't have something crazy. That's all I ask of you. She has four Pokemon. Okay, that's easy. We can handle that. We can handle that. We got a dump truck. What's a dump truck to an owl? Please don't do this. This is just going to drag out the episode, man. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. <sighs> this is going to do like three. Psychic abilities are back, guys. Psychic abilities are back. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I want to do for question of the day. But anyway, long story short, we finally got our food. It was wonderful. Chili's is always A1. And whatever. The, the rest of the night was over. I, I watched some My Hero Academia with my brother. I watched some uh, TV. I played a little Overwatch. The rest of the night was kind of a blur. I had a little bit to drink while I was there, too. So I'm act it wasn't enough to like get me buzzed or drunk or anything. I just had like a little, like um, it was like this like punch kind of thing. I don't know. It was good. It was really good. If you're ever at Chili's and you want to get a nice drink, it's uh, like a mango pineapple kind of thing. It was like called a Tito's Punch or something. It was really good. You guys should try it. I would recommend it if you're old enough to drink. Don't, dr don't drink underage, kids. Don't do it. It's bad. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's really bad for you. Trust me. Don't do it. <laughs> Please KO this thing. I'm over this hoot hoot. I'm over this hoot hoot. Please get a level up from this too. Cool. Trapinch. We're getting the heck out of here. Get out of here, Franklin. Hey, it's Franklin. 
Get out of here, buddy boy. Get out here and one-shot this thing with a surf, please, and thank you. Trap you're not living this. I know you have base 100 attack, but your other stats are garbage. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. I'm waiting for her to send out her, like, Reggie Steel or something. I'm waiting on it, guys. But net, that could be a little scary. Um, let's go out into Wrigley. Let's go out into Wrigley, because we get we got bite. We've got bite on it. We've got a bite on it. Even though it's not physical in this generation, we'll also lower its physical attack, which is nice. Even though bite's not physical, it should still probably do about half, I'm hoping. Please? Uh, like a, a third. That's not bad. Spite, don't spite me, dude. Please. Please don't lower my PP. I'd rather you didn't. I would appreciate if you didn't. I don't know if Destiny Bond's- Oh, Wrigley with a crit! I was about to say, I don't know if Destiny Bond's a thing, but I'm not sure if it is or not. But we don't have to worry about it because Wrigley just one-shot that banana with a crit. Let's go, Wrigley the pup! Alright, what's your last Pokemon? Laron. I'm tempted. But nah, we're going into Tonic. We'll go into Tonic. I was tempted to send out Laron for a Laron on Laron battle, but you know what? We're not going to do it. We're not going to take any chances here, you guys. I'm just here to take my wins. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. I'm about to get my sixth gym badge. Let's go. And your reflects going to wear off. You ain't living this. The sunlight is strong, man. Look at me. I'm a Groudon. You're a Laron. I rule the land that you walk on. Hold this mud shot, bro. Hold this shot of mud right in your face. Get out of here, buddy. That is our sixth gym badge in the home region. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Uh, I'm trying to think what I want to do for question of the day. Um, uh, actually, okay, since I was talking about chilies a lot, let me know in the comment section down below. What is your guys' favorite restaurant? Favorite restaurant to go get food at? In recognition of your prowess, I rest present you to I present to you this gym badge. We got 3,500 big ones, too. My favorite restaurants include probably, I don't know if I've done this question today before or not. I probably have. Uh, my favorite restaurants include, like, Cheddar's, Chipotle, I love chilies, um, anything Japanese, uh, anything Chinese. But I'd say, like, number one for sure is Cheddar's because you get a lot of food for the price, and it's, like, really, like, homemade, too, and, like, delicious. And their drinks and margaritas are fantastic, too. Um, so yeah, Cheddar's is probably number one. Number two behind that's probably something like, um, like wasabi, like a Japanese kind of grill. But yeah, so, something like that. With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those who receive through trades, will obey your every command. You'll also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. We got the TM40. What is that going to be? Because as always, you guys, TMs are randomized in this game. Normally it says Aerial Ace. What is it going to be? TM40 contains Aerial Ace. It's speed. No Pokemon should be able to avoid it. Alright, let's see what we got. Dizzy Punch. I want that. That's pretty good. That is pretty good, honestly. But who to give it to? I'm going to give it to Falcon. I'm going to give it to Falcon because Falcon needs some more moves. Falcon needs some more moves. Let's give it... Let's give it a Tackle. Let's get rid of Tackle. Alright, so we just earned our sixth badge in the Hoenn region, you guys. That's awesome. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, because we're about to wrap it up right here, do me a favor and leave a like by clicking that thumb down below. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video. Also, make sure you leave a comment answering your question of the day. Once again, is what's your favorite restaurant? As I said, for me, it is, without a doubt, Cheddar's, for sure. Make sure you also, guys, subscribe down below. That way you can stay notified about when I upload and see all of my content as well. You can also check out my social media links in the description below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kyler underscore Ren 96. And follow me on twitch.tv slash kaiguyslider as well, where I'll hopefully begin streaming very, very, very soon. I forgot what my next part of my outro is. <laughs> right around now, there should be a couple of boxes up here on your guys' screen. You can click the one on the right to check out a video that YouTube has picked out just for you guys because they care about you. Also, check out the video on the left side, which is my most recent upload. You also click the center button, which is this ugly mug right here. It is my face. You can click on that to subscribe as well. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I hope you have a very good day. Goodbye.